Hello. It's funny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. All right. This is going to be a twin soul reading for Taurus. Um, I have someone. Oh, I need to turn my phone off, y'all. Hold on. I have someone waiting on a reading for Taurus. And so I'm going to go ahead and read Taurus. Um, I might try to get Cancer, Leo, and Aries out. Depends on if I have time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sound cleanse with my bell. One second. Okay, so Taurus, we're going to do things a little bit different today. Um, I have my Rider weight deck, and what I'm going to do is, I, I hope you guys can see me well, I have my light on, um, my, my little camera light. Um, I am going to do two cards for your energy, two cards for your person's energy. We're going to do a message of love from the Message of Love Oracle deck. And I'm going to pull a numerology card for you. And we're going to be finishing off with a Getting Into the Vortex <coughs> card by Esther and Jerry and Abraham Hicks. So if you've been following me for a minute, you know that I love Abraham Hicks. And so when I seen that she had a relationship deck, I absolutely had to nab it. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so what does Taurus need to know um, about their twin soul journey? Let's get two cards, please, first for Taurus's energy, and then two cards for Taurus's twin flame energy person, twin flame. All right. So I will definitely be connecting to the energy of those that watch me the most. That's just how it goes, people. Because um, your energy will be shared with me the most, right? <laughs> and I'm only taking the cards that fly out. And I am shuffling them. I'll take the cards that fly out. And I don't look at them. Okay, I'm doing I'm doing the reading a whole, a whole new way. It's completely different. Um, I won't look at the cards because I don't want... <clears throat> the way that I feel to influence them in any way or me seeing a card to influence the reading in any way so I leave all the cards face down until until um, I flip them over okay and if, if my energy is a little weird I just got out of work and I came straight here to you guys so that's why all right Taurus's energy Woo. okay <laughs> both of your cards flipped out but I didn't see what they were all right let's get two cards for Taurus's person please Ooh, it flipped, but then it flipped back over, so I didn't see it. All right. Um, <clears throat> card for Taurus this person. Taurus this person. Ooh, that card screwed up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and dive right in. Oh, I got to get an outcome card. So I got your... I'm so sorry. So I have two cards for your energy, two cards for your person's energy, and then we're going to do an advice from spirit card. Okay, that's, that's what I meant to say. All right, so for your energy, ooh, we, we have seven of pentacles and the moon. So Taurus, I see that you have been working so hard on yourself and on your healing journey. I am so proud of you. Give yourself a huge hug for me. Kudos. You guys are doing so good. I'm seriously so proud of you. All right. Um, so let me just congrat congratulate you on your beautiful progress. Okay. Um, I see you making a lot of leeway in life. Um and with the moon card, this shows me not only are you doing just the healing work, right? Not just the tip of the iceberg healing work. You are diving deep in your subconscious shadows. That is not easy. This represents the subconscious shadows, right? You're learning um, what are the things that trigger you? What are the things that, um, what are the things that um, you enjoy? Also, what are the things that you're hiding deep, deep down in your subconscious mind that maybe have hindered you in this connection, right? All right. Um, oh, before I forget, I'm just going to go ahead and invite 
Archangel Michael here in this space to create sacred space for us as well. And thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Okay, so let's go on to your person's energy. Um, we have seven of swords and eight of wands. Wow, so your person has not been very honest with you, Taurus. They, oh, my children are so loud. I am so sorry. Um, there's this energy of your person not being completely honest with you. It's, it's almost like, and, and it doesn't feel like in a low vibrational, like lying type of way. You know what I mean? Like cheating, whatever. This to me feels like they, they lied about, about how deeply they feel connected to you. They lied about their feelings, right? They lied also, they may have, have told you when you first met them, that they weren't interested in a relationship or they wanted to take it really slow. And they lied also about that. You know, I see that they really, really, really want to make some forward movement with you. This, the Eight of Wands is about fiery passion. It's about moving forward. It's about moving quickly forward. Okay. So, you know, there's that Seven of Swords. It's the energy of someone being like, eh, they're, tr they're trying to get away with something. They're trying to sneak off. And I feel like they were completely dishonest about how they felt. They may have said, oh, you know, we're just friends. They may have even friends owned you, but they have really deep attraction to you. Okay. So don't doubt that at all. And they really, really want to move this forward with you. Let's get an advice from spirit. Oh, we have the hangman. So the advice from spirit is this, my beautiful Taurus. Spirit wants you to pause. <laughs> spirit wants you to not make any sudden moves towards your person, um, not to even contact them. They want you to focus on yourself because what's going on here is you guys may be in a period of separation. And as much as I hate, I hate, 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 hate the separation phases. I know because I'm in a separation phase with my twin soul as well. And they suck. Oh, do they suck. So I'm not going to say that it's going to be easy. But here's the thing, Taurus. This is a much needed separation. Okay. Um, when. Hold on one second. Okay, Taurus. Sorry. I had to tell him to quiet down because I could not channel that. My energy was. I was being affected. I couldn't concentrate. Okay. So this is a much needed separation, Taurus, because. The separation phase in the Twin Flame journey is probably the most important phase for both the twins because what it does is it propels your person and also you into the learning, what I call the learning phase, okay? The learning phase, the growth phase, the phase where we focus on ourselves and we try to discover the things that make us tick, the things that we need to work on so that we can be our best selves when we come into this union, okay? Because if, if we don't do the work, then we're not going to be ready for union. You're going to get with your twin and you guys are just going to fight and it's going to be triggering and it's going to be like hell. <laughs> so this phase is necessary. It is very necessary in order for you guys to go on your separate journeys in order to learn as much as you can about yourselves and then come back together when you're almost like you don't have to be completely healed but when you're healed enough that you oh my god i'm so sorry they're so loud when you're healed enough so that one second okay sorry about that Taurus. so the separation phase is absolutely necessary it is necessary in order for both twins to come back together into in to union and at this point they have to be very connected to their higher selves okay because if not there's just gonna be lots of triggering there's just gonna be lots of arguments and it won't be a happy union if you get together and you're healed and you're very self-aware it makes your union feel very blissful the journey doesn't have to be hard people make it more difficult because People get lazy and they don't want to do the work. I am so sorry. This is, this is ridiculous. This, the whole, I feel like honestly, me trying to get these messages out to you, to you guys is so important. And literally the dark forces are just everywhere, just trying to stop us. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to let them do that. 
I'm not going to let them. I'm not going to let anything stop me. I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to keep plowing through it. I've already went out there a million times and between my baby's father, the my ex-husband and my children, I just cannot get anyone to respect anything that I'm doing right now. And so I'm just, I'm done. I'm going to give up on it right now. Um, so yeah, these energies are extremely important. There's been a lot of, of, um, the, during this whole Lionsgate 8-8, eight, eight, I feel like the darker forces know that there's this like really beautiful portal that has opened up, which is allowing us to manifest our greatest timeline and they're not liking it. So that might be a lesson for you as well. Try to focus on what it is you need to do, Taurus, and keep going. Don't let anything stop you, okay? All right. Um, I'm trying to just center my energy. I have my little selenite heart. Okay, so let us go ahead and dive into the messages from your person and your numerology card. Without further ado, we never stop. We just keep going. We're tired, we keep going. Because we're never really exhausted, right? We might be a little bit tired from working or whatever, but we're we're never fully depleted because our energy doesn't come from us, it comes from source, right? So, all right. Um, can I get two cards from Taurus's person, a message from Taurus's person? What do they want them to know during this separation phase? So I am working on creating a twin flame class right now, which I will talk about all of these things. I will talk about the separation phase, the different phases, how you can tell your twin flame by the twin flame birthmarks. Um, I will talk about all different connections, not just twin flames. I'll talk about twin flames, um, a high level soulmate connections. I'll talk about the activators, the false twins, all of these things. Okay. And the class is going to run about a hundred dollars and it's, you'll be able to, it's going to be recorded so you can watch it over and over again. Once you purchase it, it's yours. Okay. I'll give you the link and you can watch it as many times as you want. And it's also going to come with a free bonus twin flame healing, um, twin flame healing session, um, at the end of the video. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So there's three messages from your person. They're all face down. I have not looked at them at any way to influence the reading at all. All right, so we have destiny. I am struggling to find the right path. So see, this is what I mean, Taurus. It's like I know what I'm talking about or something. You, the reason, the reason separation is so important is because of this. Because our twin flames, they struggle. They struggle to find themselves. They struggle to find their paths. I mean, a lot of them don't even know their soul paths right now. And they don't know, you know, how to be of service to humanity. And so they, they, they need the separation phase so that they can discover these things. And we need it too. The feminines, the masculines, we both need it, right? Why is my hair doing this really crazy thing? It's so annoying right now. Anyways, okay. So it's, it's not about me. It's, or it's, it's about the message. So it's just it's ego <laughs> sure. all right mistakes i wish i could write my wrongs and you know what that might have something to do with your person too like maybe your person is struggling with some ego issues i don't know i know there's no accidents and so i don't ever feel guided to like be like oh god what do i look like because i most of the time i don't give a shit so just so you know all right mistakes i i mean i do but like in a healthy way right all right, I wish I could right my wrongs. So your person, um, they feel like they made a lot of mistakes. And you know what? In the twin flame journey, there is no mistakes, really, honestly. It, it's all, they're all learning lessons. They're all necessary um, steps and necessary mistakes so that one, one twin flame will get triggered because they need to heal a certain thing. Your twin will trigger you depending on what it is that you need to heal. For example, your twin flame has an issue with jealousy. Then you will do things subconsciously to trigger them into jealousy in order to heal that, right? That's how it works. Okay, we have forgiveness. I'm struggling to get over the past. So see, there's a lot of things that your person is working on karmically, right? 
they are, I mean, they could have some issues with religion. Look, there's, there's a cross, you know, I mean, a, a, I hate to say it, I really do, but sometimes in the church and religions, there's a lot of things like, you know, sexual abuse and stuff. I mean, God forbid, but it, do, it does happen, right? And if, if your person has issues with that and trauma caused by that, you know, they're going to need to deal with those issues because, you know, being with someone and, and being intimate with someone is going to trigger those, um, feelings, right? Those feelings of inadequacy or, you know, permiss per being promiscuous or whatever it is, you know? So that, that's why it's so necessary for the twins to have separation phases. Okay. But they know that you're their destiny. Okay. They know it. There, there's, there's no doubt about that, right? Twin flames always come back together. Okay. Always, always, always. If you work on yourself and your twin works on themselves, then union is inevitable. Okay. Let's get a numerology card for Taurus. A numerology card for Taurus, please. For this twin flame connection. Now, you can take these however they resonate. If you see this number often, um, you know, that's a sign your twin. Ooh, they gave you two. That is thinking of you, or you can just take it at face value is what I'm going to say. I told you. See, Taurus, your person's healing. We have 66. You're healing yourself as well. I see, though, honestly, in your energy, you've done most of the work. You've done almost all of it, okay? Your person, however, is still deep in the trauma of it. They're they're still massively healing themselves. And you sh so you should be so proud of them, Doris. They're working really hard for this union because they love you, okay? Um, 66 is the number of spirituality. So there's a lot of deep spiritual wounds being um, healed right now. Like I said, I feel like there's something with religion that they're healing, all right, we have number four, perseverance. See, your person is saying, keep going, keep going, don't give up. I'm not going to give up on you. Don't give up on me, Taurus. All right, my beautiful Taurus, they're literally saying, when I'm showing you fours, when I show you four, 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 that means please don't give up. The angels are saying, please don't give up. Please, please don't get discouraged because you're on the right path. And the fact that you're here and you're watching me shows that you are dedicated to this journey and that, you know, you're going to get your reward at the end, which is going to be union. Just keep following the path that I lay out for you. And I promise you it's inevitable. Okay, I don't make promises lightly. I promise you if you guys do the work that and, and the advice that I give you, you're going to get into union. Okay, I'm so freaking close to mine like I can taste it y'all but I have been on the twin flame journey since 2000 and freaking 15 it is not easy I had so many false twins I didn't know who who the, my twin was for the longest time and you know what I'm saying it's rough it really is and we're all in different phases of the journey so you know some of the things will resonate with you and not all of it but the ones the the messages that resonate with you just know that they're it's from spirit okay all right let's go ahead and get a um abraham hicks relationship card for you and we're gonna call it a reading tourist i really hope that you enjoyed this thank you for all your likes and your subscriptions you guys if you want to book a reading you can go in the description box below and click on the milkshake link and that's where i have all of my information right now okay the the universal law of attraction is managing my expansion i told you you're doing so much expanding and healing you should be so proud of yourself taurus oh your guys energy is so good the law of attraction is the universal manager of all vibration which expands to everything that exists through the universe and so at the same time that the law of attraction is responding to the vibrational content of your physical thoughts, it is also responding to the vibrational content of your inner being. So your inner being, which is some people call it your higher self, your heart, your soul, your, your, the law of attraction is also responding to that vibrational frequency and also the vibrational frequency of your thoughts in your mind. So try to keep your thoughts always positive when you're thinking about your twin flame journey. Think about what it is that you want. Don't think about the stuff that you don't want to, to think about, like the fact that you're in separation. 
Focus on the fact your twin flame loves you no matter what. No matter what it looks like in the 3D, your twin loves you more than anything. Just how you feel about your twin flame, they feel the same way. I don't care what anybody says, okay? Trust me on this. Trust me on this. No matter what it looks like in the in the 3D, your twin is crazy about you. Don't you forget that, Taurus. I love you so fiercely, and I hope this reading has helped. All right, I love you. Bye.